with this I want to, I'm going to be getting some more of your book.
a building in Manhattan? What floor? Third or sixth? Who, who says third? Who says sixth? You are right. Wow. Yeah. See you. 
over there. It's gonna be a little. I'll try to step out of your way every now and then. Everyone else hands down. 
arms and your whole body to express yourselves. For instance, you could say, yo. You could say, hey, or you, or you've read my voice. Excellent. Or you could say, no friend, no fun. Okay? And if you want, you can see that in the script, sometimes the words are big, and sometimes the words are smaller. So if they're big, if you want, you can say it loud. Yo. If they're smaller, you can say it quieter. Yes. Okay? So, I'm the director. My actors are ready. You're the audience. This time you bought your tickets for $25. Uh, you all had uh, a big meal because it's such an expensive ticket. And uh, you've all had hamburger and a tall milkshake. Now you've come to the theater. You get quiet. You're ready. Okay. Ready, actors? Curtain goes up. Go. Yo. Yes. Hey. Very good. You. Me. Yes, you. Upside down R is my cat. 
Sort of. Pretend that's a cat. Okay, here I am. C H R I S, <coughs> excuse me, upside down R. So that's me. Does it look like me? Sort of. No. Not really. Okay. You have to use your imagination. Now that is your assignment for you to do in your free time, to do your own name. Now let's see if to get you started, you don't have to do this, of course. But if you want to, now let's practice once. Who wants to volunteer their name? Quiet hand raiser. What's your name? Everyone else be quiet so I can hear it. Shout your name up to me. Mary Cruz? Let's just start with your just just your first name. Spell it for me. M. M. A. A. R. R. I. C. Oh, it's all together. Okay. R. U. Z. Mary Cruz. Perfect. Okay, Mary Cruz. Remember the three rules. All the letters. We can turn them upside down. We can do capital or lowercase. Uh, Mary Cruz, I think I will start with an A. How about a uh, uh, Z? Okay, Mary Cruz.
give it away now. Just right. 
also an American musician and a New York City musician. So I thought it would be a good thing to have a book about them so that uh, you and other students could read about them, especially other students in the rest of the country who might not know about them. Okay, let's see. What's your question? Um, Sit down again. Can Melonius Monk play the piano? Yes. He is no longer living. He died about, um, about uh, 15 years ago. He would be about as old as, well, he's older than your grandparents, probably. Oh. He's quite old and he's not living anymore. But he could play the piano beautifully. And he went to the school, Juilliard Music School, if you've ever heard of that. Okay, another question. Um, how come there's um, a piano in every page? <laughs> how come there's a piano in every page? Let's see, let me get that book out. Not in every page. Yes. yes. There's a piano pretty much on every page. Well, in this book, what I did was I took all the colors of the rainbow or really the colors of the color wheel. And there's 14, I mean, what am I saying? 12 different colors, usually. There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. That's six. And all the colors in between, red, orange, uh, then there's, let's see, red, orange, yellow, orange, green, yellow, blue, green, and maroon, and violet, so that's 12 colors all together. And on, on a scale, there's 12 notes. So if you put them together, you can make the colors be the notes of the music. And this, that little piece that I played for you before, has notes that go like that. Bum, 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 bum. And I just made colors to go with those notes. So since the notes are coming out, that's why I put the piano on every page. Because now, the notes change. Bum, 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 bum. So that's, even though I didn't make Thelonious playing the piano every time, I wanted it to make it look that, like it was coming out of his piano. And now there's more notes, because when Thelonious Monk plays his piano, he starts making more and more notes go around the melody. That's called the harmony. Okay, that was an interesting question. What's another question? Um, in, in the book of the Spirit, he is um, harmonious. He looks like he's made out of clay. Interesting. In the book of Mysterious Thelonious, he looks like he's made out of clay. He's made out of paint, really. Uh, thin, it's thin watercolor paint. Water and I made many layers of paint. Okay, how about what's your question? Um, you your autograph? My autograph? Well, I think since I can't give my autograph to everyone, the school has my autograph uh, there on that on that. Uh, Let's see. How about another question? If you had your life to live over, would you do it differently? Oh, what a question. If I had my life to live over, would I do it differently? Well, it's a very interesting question because I never thought I would be a artist or a picture book artist or a writer of children's books when I was growing up. And I almost went to medical school to be a doctor. And at the last minute decided not to because I just couldn't stop drawing pictures. So um, I feel very lucky to be able to be an artist. So probably I wouldn't change. Even though I could now. It was a close call. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. How old 
was I and what year was it when I published my first book? I was, um, I was 30. I was 30 when, when I wrote my first book and published it. And now I'm 39. Let's see. I've got another question. Why does the piano have feet? Well, some piano, some piano sort of have feet. This piano does not really have feet, but it almost looks like it. It's got wheels instead of feet. Some grand pianos have got very, very uh, decorated, ornate, which means very beautiful carved legs. So I thought this piano, since it's a very, since it's my piano, I would put feet on. Okay, let's see. How about in the back? My first book. Well, my first book was really Charlie Parker played Bebop. You know, I did some other books for other people, but Charlie Parker played Bebop. That's when I count as my first book. Okay, let's see. Let's this one, what age did I publish this one? Let's see. This one was published, I think, in 1997. Yes. And I was 38. <laughs> so it was just last year. Why did I call it Mysterious Thelonious? Good question. Well, Thelonious is the name of the man. And Mysterious comes from the name of the song that I use, which is Mysterioso. And so I thought, since they sound very much the same, mysterious and felonious, I would put them together. And some people thought felonious monk was mysterious, because they didn't always understand. Play in the back. Someone at heel. Well,